Horse Racing Tips Talking Horses Talking Horses. Saturday's TV Races Guide on Ascot Chase Day Waiting Patiently Can Pay Dividends for Ruth Jefferson. In England's last grade one race before the Cheltenham Festival Q Card seeks a third victory in the Ascot Chase but the veteran could be up against it with waiting patiently in opposition. Photograph. Alan Crowhurst, Getty Images. Is it too much to ask that Ruth Jefferson might win a grade one on the day after her father's funeral? Those who watched waiting patiently. Ascot 335. Hose up at Kempton last month will not think so. This magnificent animal, unbeaten in five over fences, has proved more than once that he belongs at this level. Notably when beating Politolog at Haydock a year ago. He was having just his second start since then. And his last for Malcolm Jefferson. When he hacked up by eight lengths at Kempton. Giving weight to the next two. Cyrus Darius gives Ruth Jefferson timely boost with more battle win read more. It's hard to put a ceiling on his ability and. For me. He would be a better favorite than top notch. Nicky Henderson's zippy type has tended to fall short at the highest level and there is a chance he was flattered by his early season defeat of double shuffle and Froden here. Ireland's Coney Island is an intriguing contender but might need further than this. Froden is possibly a bit out of his depth. While it is hard to bet on Q card winding the clock back to the effort he made here a year ago. 1. 50 Ascot This could be a bump in the road for Black Courtin and Bryony Frost, who have overachieved this season. The likely favorite must give weight away all round on this return from a break and may not have 7 pounds in hand over Ms. Parfois, seeking her fourth win in a row. Anthony Honeyball's mare is improving and her jockey, Sean Bowen, will be keen to beat Frost. Who competes with him for rides at Paul Nichols' yard? 2. 05 Haydock Agra Part sets the highest recent level of form here but cannot be relied upon to show his best every time and was disappointing in this race last year after a Cheltenham success. He has had less time to recover this year from his previous start. So Boat could take advantage. Always useful. He ran a career best after win surgery at Taunton last time and seems better for a step up in distance. 2. 25 Ascot One of the horses who sparked most interest when the Grand National weights were unveiled. Gold Present can get his third win of the season. A really impressive jumper. This big horse bounced around here two days before Christmas and has lots more to offer. Sam Twiston Davies to ride favorite Blake Lyon in Grand National Read More. 2. 45 Wincanton There can't be many two-mile hurdle races of quality that Nicky Henderson has won only once but the Kingwell doesn't seem to have been very good to him. Apart from when Binocular took the prize. Call me Lord could double his tally here. Building on an impressive handicap success at Sandown last time on just his second start since leaving France. Cliffs of Dover has quite a bit to prove after such a long absence. Stepping up into this company. Stabello would be tough to beat if the tongue tie improves him. 3. OO Ascot since joining Neil Mulholland from France. Dieg Man has won only a couple of quiet novice hurdles at Sedgefield and Catterick. Still, he's very reasonably treated for this step into handicaps and the chestnut should be able to take it in his stride on his way to lining up for something at one of the spring festivals. 3. 15 Haydock Despite the small field. This is quite an ask for Blake Lyon who has gone up another eight pounds for his Becker Chase success and now gives nearly a stone away to everything else. From the resurgent Colin Tizard yard, the Dutchman looks the one to be with. Having his first run over fences since joining Tizard, he hacked up in the Peter Marsh here last month and may be able to cope with the inevitable hike. Up the weights. 
the fitting of a tongue tie seems to have made a difference. Though he must still prove his stamina for this extra half mile. <laughs>